Hi, my name is Jutta, and in this video, I'm going to tell you about how to make an engaging online course. The points are based on 10 interviews with students from different universities and a broad literature review that I did for my master's thesis. First, I will talk about what should be considered when creating an online course. And second, I will tell you which elements make online lectures engaging. I challenge you to think about one course that you are familiar with, maybe one that you teach yourself, and compare whether it fulfills the upcoming points. The base for good online courses is good planning. Here are six important things to consider. The rhythm and routines of the course. Does it have, for example, weekly modules or maybe bi-weekly deadlines? A clear plan on, of when and what is going to be covered and expected of the students helps to keep up with the course. Here is a comment from a student who was very pleased with the course's structure. The type and duration of lectures are very important to think about, especially in online settings, where it is harder to keep students engaged. Pre-recorded video lectures should be short, so try to divide the content into parts and have one topic or concept per video. The type of assignments. There are many possibilities when it comes to assignments and students prefer different things. Be creative with the possibilities of online teaching, but also keep in mind that the assignments can include something outside the computer. Students usually feel more motivated towards tasks related to an actual problem or a company or hands-on practical assignments. Final deliverables. Think about if a final exam is necessary for your course. Often online learning isn't continuous when it consists of one exam at the end. Of course, you can have assignments and then a final task but it's good to consider whether the learning goals are best reached by an exam, a final tasks, or the sum of multiple assignments. The evaluation criteria. Students need to know what is expected of them. So a clear plan of what each part of the course is worth is very important. Last but not least, some extra engagement methods. Think about if there would be a possibility to gamify something, spice up the traditional lecture slides, or use real life cases in the assignments. It's allowed to try and explore new things in teaching. How a course starts plays a significant role in how engaged students feel towards the course. Create a written form of all the important information. Include the schedule of the course, what topics will be covered, when are the lectures, assignment deadlines, and so on. Once you have all this information in one place, like a PDF, place it somewhere on your teaching platform where it is easy to access anytime. Explain the goals of the course and how it is linked to other studies and the world. It is motivating for students to know how they will benefit from the course later in life. Support and feedback during courses are very important, especially if the course is fully online. So make it easy to get support from the course staff. Depending on the course, it can be, for example, scheduled helping hours, questions and answers form, or staying online after a lecture. In addition, provide the possibility for students to receive feedback from at least one thing they have done during the course. Peer reviewing is also a good option. Giving and receiving feedback in itself teaches valuable things, like being able to argue what was good and what could be improved. In the beginning of a lecture, you can briefly go through the agenda of the lecture, a summary of the course's timeline, and how the lecture connects to previous and following material. 
It's easier to follow if you understand the bigger picture and know, for example, when there are going to be breaks. Here you can see a basic example. There is the lectures topic on top, which leads to the timeline that shows all the course's lectures and then the structure of that lecture. During lectures, you should move forward in a logical order. If you have a large topic as video lectures, cut them into maximum six minute lessons. It's good to finish lessons with a question or even a short task. Use pre-recorded lectures more for theoretical things and live lectures for discuss discussion based teaching. If you have live lectures, have enough breaks and finish them on time. It's nothing new that slides with pleasing visuality are easier to follow or that pictures and videos attract attention. Things like colors, graphs and page spacing are the basics for more engaging slides. For variety, you can also try something else than static slides. You can, for example, think about the division of passive and active learning during lectures. This cone of experience from Dale might give you some thoughts on what could be beneficial for the topic that you are teaching. The top part in blue shows what is passive learning and how you remember different actions. Like you remember about 20% of what you hear but about 50% of what you hear and see at the same time. The lower part shows possibilities in active learning, like creating and giving a presentation. Oral interaction is tricky when it comes to online lectures. However, students are able to point out things that make it easier to talk from behind the camera. Routines are one way to make it more natural to talk during online, le online sessions. For example, if you have a Tuesday lecture where you always have discussions, then students can attend the session with the right mindset. If you divide students into breakout rooms, have clear instructions about what to talk about and how much time there is. If there are a lot of group discussions, consider dividing students into the same groups every time to make it more natural to start a conversation. There are also other kinds of interaction, like quizzes, games or votings. The following comment regarding a language course was, in my opinion, very interesting because they are usually based on a lot of communication. In addition to all the previous points, there are a few other things to enhance engagement. First, students admit to paying more attention if their cameras are on, even though they might not be overly excited about it at first. It is important to see at least the lecturer's face throughout the session. Second, the lecturer's language skills and presentation skills play a big role in how engaging the lesson is to follow. Conversational language, a relatively quick tempo, and enthusiasm in speaking are good things. It's also nice to have slides numbers marked to make it visible at what point the lecture stands. And last, technical qualities. If there is, for example, a lot of back noise, the listener might just leave the video. A lot of the points in this video not only stand for online courses. They can easily be also looked from a live lectures or a hybrid courses point of view. To end with some questions. Is there something you would now change or try in the course you had in mind from the beginning? Do you agree with the points? And is there something that you would add? Please gather your notes and let's discuss it when we meet.